If you want to know how to incorporate juices, smoothies in your diet so that you can have a good health that is uh, free from diseases, you are in the right place. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for those who have watched so many videos. Thank you so much for those who have subscribed. If you are new here, please first hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification. You'll always be the first to get notified when you have a new video. My name is Ruth Kombi and this channel is all about healthy juices and smoothies and a bit of travel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a juice for common cold and flu. Yeah, sometimes we suffer from common cold and flu when maybe there's a change of weather, when we travel, when we go to places that we are not really used to. So this really comes to us. So today I'm going to show you how we can be able to deal with common cold and flu. In this video, I'm also going to mention some of the things that you can take when you're suffering from common cold. What are the do's and the don'ts? So come with me till the end of this video. So these are the ingredients for the common cold juice, water, piece of ginger, pineapple, piece of garlic, carrots, then we have a dash of cayenne pepper. So this is our final product, this is our common cold and flu juice that we just made, it's so nice. It's really going to help help you so much and uh, you know carrots are so good because they are they have antioxidants that can help the body to be able to fight any radicals vitamin c also present in carrots is very very good in the immune system we have pineapples that fight infection and uh, they're very very good in killing bacteria that is why we had pineapple in our juice and they're also good in soothing a sore throat and also aid the body in in releasing mucus very very easily make sure you take watermelon watermelon is very very good it's going to help you so much i have a video on a watermelon juice that you can take you can make and take i'm going to put a video link in this particular video in the description box so make sure you check it out and see how you can make watermelon juice and take and be able to rehydrate yourself we added ginger in this juice ginger is very very good for decongesting yourself it's very very good when you're feeling like nauseated it's very very good for colds and fevers so that is why you need to have ginger in your diet whenever you're having common cold and flu we added garlic here i know so many people don't like the taste or the smell of garlic afterwards but garlic is so good because it reduces the symptoms of having disease so it's going to really really help you you can eat a lot of fruits you can eat a lot of green vegetables they're very very good you can eat broccoli it's very very nice you can have oatmeal as part of your diet it's going to help you to be able to heal so fast from your flu uh, what are the things that you need to uh, to do take rest if you're having flu make sure you also drink lots and lots of water rehydrate yourself so that your body is feeling so good if you're able to take a steam bath you can do or you can take hot bath that is going to help your body try to be warm if you're in a cold area keep warm and uh, make sure you really really uh, stay calm another thing that you can talk that i did mention is the vegetable broth yes you can take vegetable broth it's very very nice it's going to really help you what are things that you need to avoid during this time? Try to avoid milk, try to avoid cheese, and try to avoid other things like ice cream that you're craving that could really uh, cause more harm to you. Before I end this video, today's post notification shout out goes to Bob Chair. Shout out to you, Bob Chair. Thank you so much for being a part of me. Thank you for watching and for all the support that you have given me. And please. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. Remember to give a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed and turn on your post notifications so that you'll always get to know when we have a new video. And definitely I'm going to give you a shout out once you do that. Hope to see you in my next video.